okay this video i'm going to talk about basic estimation okay so estimation is basically is not exact so the process of arriving an approximate answer to the given question we call it estimation so let's have a couple of arithmetic example here you know so if i say five dollar five dollar is equal to five dollar is it correct most probably you say yes that is correct right now if i say half dollar is equal to 50 cents is this correct again most probably you're going to say yes that's a correct so this is an exact okay this is an exact so these are exact why because we are not rounding things up okay we are not rounding things up this is called exact our data our information is not missed so everything is given we have everything okay to deal with now on the other hand if I look into the next set of example if I say one third is equal to 0 0.33 and also I come up with another one one seven is equal to okay one seven is equal to You're going to have 0 0.1428 and so many numbers you name you know you name it right so the question is is this exact no no this is not exact not exact not an exact number okay so then what should we write what should we come up with this okay so we can say one third is approximately or about 33 cents that is the why we should actually work out every time you round off things right you well basically there was let's take a look here there is another three here okay so you say approximate sign so this symbol so that is the symbol for estimation which is approximation actually we use okay so and then we can come up with another one here guys which is down here one over seven as you see we did it so we say this one to zero point one four or one over seven about two about two zero point one four so we can use that two about two also or we can use this one also anyone you like that would be fine okay Let's take a look on the example i have three example you see right if i ask you can you tell me in 2018 how many residents were in new york city and you scratch your head you say oh maybe seven eight maybe eight million okay but that was eight million three hundred thirty five thousand resident okay so if you have recalled the million that is really good critical thinking you can you actually recall that estimation so 8 million which is easy but this time we should not forget about the estimation okay or we say about 8 million resident okay also we always put down the unit okay so that is how we deal with this one okay now next one b estimate well it doesn't say estimate by rounding what but is given thrown like that so our answer may vary so this one if i look into here right i'm going to actually estimate by near stands so I'm going to put down here 260 plus 130 plus 270 plus 90. And I hope you know why it is 130. Okay. Now that would be equal to 750. Now at the same time, I must change this one here. This equal sign. I must say this is 
approximately 750 again you can round to the nearest hundreds that would be okay too but you must mention the approximation sign here okay then you find also one more thing i want to touch base here right you never round to the answer you estimate start estimating you start rounding up from the beginning the data given in the earlier you try to round it up okay not in the answer that is the way we deal with the estimation problem okay now let's take a look on the next one here assume you're going to buy a new nissan rogue priced at twenty-eight thousand two hundred fifty. That is the price. After the deal, you have found out that the sales tax is 10%. Estimate the answer. Okay. So, well, if I estimate it 28,000, well, I think, you know, I mean, I'm going to do in 1,000 actually. So, if I, this one is going to give me 28,000. Once I know the estimation of that one, right? I can deal with this problem many ways. I can say, well, if I look for sales tax, I can just multiply by 10% or multiply by divide or use the proportion concept. Many ways, you know, we, we know how to actually find the answer. So if you do so, check out, is it 2800? If not, comment it uh, after watching the video. Okay. So if they said, total cost then we would do different oil we have to add this to the original amount or we multiply 28,000 times 110 percent it should give you the answer okay so remember I am not done here so what is missing here so I must change that equal to approximate then it it will be fine thank you